Hello team, Jason David Frank here, and we're at Dragon Con day number two. Um, a lot of people ask me, uh, this is just my thoughts and my feelings of the day, a lot of people ask me why I do conventions and uh, when am I fighting next. Uh, I, first of all, I love fighting, but I love you guys as well, and it's very hard to, I need eight weeks to fight, which means that I have to block everything away for eight weeks, because if I do something, I commit to it 100%. I have a lot of conventions I committed to, and the more I see you guys and the more I read, the more hooked I get. I have a few things I'm working on this year, um, which is going to be like film later on uh, towards the end of the year, which is more of an independent film. Um, but a lot of people ask me why I do conventions and what motivates me. I'll be honest, you guys motivate me. I mean, um, it's when I get up in the morning, and last night I had a bad night sleeping. Um, as you guys know, sometimes sleeping is uh, hard for me, but uh, I guess just getting up and knowing that I have this parade and, you know, I'm going to make people happy, but when I make you guys happy, you guys make me happy. I can't stress and tell you enough that I'm just happy and proud to be here, and the, again, people ask why I do it and what, what drives me and motivates me. I think just being a superhero and, you know, being a role model and, um, I don't know, I just... Uh, you guys motivate me sometimes when I look at Facebook and I read all these posts or positive things. It's just, um, it just makes you feel good. And uh, I just want to thank you guys for that. Um, I was explaining to everybody yesterday that we all have problems and we're all not normal. Um, and, uh, you know, I give you a scenario of being a crackpot, which I call my brain, because um, sometimes, uh, you know, our brain works differently and... Um, we're not always uh, perfect like everyone wants us to be. So just imagine if we took uh, three pots, okay, We're, we'll, rep we'll represent our brains in the pots. We turn the pots upside down, we have one pot, two pot, three pots, okay. During the day it looks normal. I mean you don't see anything and it's just a pot. So you see one pot that's kind of cracked and um, so I call it a cracked pot. You see one pot that's kind of cracked and you wonder, you know, well I'm not going to buy that cracked pot. Uh, and it's got little cracks in it, so it doesn't really stand out. In fact, it probably looks a little bit worse um, than it does, so it's not a perfect pot. Like, we're not perfect. But let's take another scenario. We'll take this, the three pots, we turn it upside down, we turn all the lights out. All the lights are turned out. And all of a sudden, we put lights underneath these pots. And when we shine the light, what happens? These two pots are dark. But the pot that's a crack pot delivers this beautiful light through it. And it's got streams of light and it stands out. And it's one in a million because the way the pots crack, is it's never the same. It's not like a fingerprint. And when you turn the lights on, this thing just shines and it glows. And it makes you stand out. So no matter who we are and what we do and uh, how we are, I think it's important that um, you know being normal is just boring, I guess. And uh, no one's perfect, and uh, we all make mistakes, and it's how we deal with life, and the whole Jesus didn't tap, uh, that means never give up, and uh, strive to be the best we can. Goals, whatever it is, and it's not a financial thing, it's more, like I said, are you happy with what you're doing? And if you're not, then is it worth just getting paid for and being miserable for the rest of your life? Or is it worth doing what you're passionate about doing, getting paid less, but following it with passion, because then if you're passionate, then all the stuff falls in place, the money and all this other things. Because on the end of the day, you know, what are we going to take when we pass on? I mean, you know what I mean? You can't take your watches, you can't take your money. Uh, it's relationships. And if you live every day like this is your last, last day on earth, who would you spend 24 hours with? I mean, who's the people that you'll make up in life? Is it your your family or your friends? Because I think it's very, very important that right now, you know, let's just pretend we're living 24 hours. Um, as I look out the window in Atlanta and I'm here at Dragon Con, um, you know, I, I do think of, you know, my family and, you know, kids and friends and, um, you know, my brother who passed away. And uh, it's just it's just life's too short, you know what I mean? And uh, I would say just work out, you know, reach out to the people that you know right now. And regardless if you're right or wrong, just tell them, hey, you know, I've always cared about you. 
I'm putting whatever it is aside. You don't have to have a relationship with these people, but you know, just know that um, you know that you've done and tried. I remember, you know, my friend passed away. Uh, both of them, Casey and uh, Justin Hobson, and um, you know, I wish uh, you know. I mean, I wish I had that last talk and that last conversation. But uh, anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys for being a fan. Dragon Con, day number two. Um, you guys are awesome, and thanks for listening to my thoughts.